good, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and good evening once again. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and good evening once again. I'll wait for you all to um, join the live stream today. And you can share this live from wherever you are in the world, wherever you are, wherever you might be in the country. Go ahead and share this live stream. Uh, share this live stream with your um, family members. Share this live stream you know, with your friends. And um, I thank you so very much for taking the time out of your busy day to share this live stream. Okay? Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to share this live stream. I'm sharing this live stream with a few. <coughs> starting to get sick. Oh, oh I'm starting to get sick now. Um, uh, when I'm under a lot of stress in my body, you'll start reacting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring. Thank you for sharing and thank you for caring. I'm not sure if anyone could comment or not. If you can't comment, then um, it may be best. You know, really. Okay, so some people are watching. Uh, some people are watching this live stream right now today, this evening. I love for you to share, 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 and share once again. Share, 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 and share once again. Share, 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 and share once again. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. This week has been a um an emotional roller coaster for a lot of us, um, whether you are just following, you know, the disappearance of Ariana Taylor, um, you know, her case on social media, right? Perhaps waiting for, you know, um, updates from news anchors, broadcasters, um, other journalists, um, whether they be an independent journalist or a journalist or journalists, um, connected to, you know, larger news organizations, um, I believe this week has been extremely frustrating and extremely frustrating uh, for a lot of people, including um, Ariana Taylor's family. Um, a lot of psychic readers. Um, have taken their time to try to get a reading, the most accurate reading that they could get. And um, a lot of private citizens have gone above and beyond to try to offer assistance 
with locating Miss Taylor. I remember seeing a um, Caucasian male uh, in a news clip. He offered a thousand dollars for information leading to Ariana being found. I I remember seeing posts from Casey Bodyguard, um, uh, seeing posts uh, about a $10,000 reward or offer. To anyone with information um, that could help Ariana's mother locate her. This case, just like the Alexis Weir case, has been uh, perplexing, uh, confusion, confusing, and it is definitely mind-boggling. It's a mind-boggling situation. It's mind-boggling. Um, Most of us could agree that there is something fishy going on here and there may be some sort of foul play. Um, the difficult part has been trying to pinpoint exactly what type of game has been ran on us and well, what type of trick has been played? A lot of you, and including myself, um, we're just wondering right now, you know, well, who's leading the charge in all of this trickery? Who is playing this evil game and is there just one individual or several individuals we we really don't know now do we? We really don't know. All I know for sure is that my own intuition, my own feelings, my own reasoning led me to Boone Grove three times. The first time I was in Boone Grove, I was just pretty much surveying the area. I wanted to see what <clears throat> roads had been traveled to get that way. And 
on that first trip, I took to Boone Grove, Indiana, and Boone Grove is where Ariana's phone was pinged. Um, I learned that there wasn't a um, a major interstate that would lead you into that area, and that um, the only way to connect to that area was to take side roads and. Uh, maybe you may cross, you know, US 30 at some point, depending on what direction you're going, um, or US 2, depending on what direction you're going. Um, I found that to be really interesting, learning that. Um, I found it really interesting that I did learn that um, it's more mostly farmland and uh, abandoned structures in that area. Um, I saw barns and uh, certain things that uh, structures I felt should be searched uh, but because I was you know by myself at the time and uh, limited on the physical capabilities I um, you know declined to try to go into certain areas the second time I Drove out to Boone Grove, Boone Grove, Indiana, that is. Um, I was accompanied by a few individuals, just three, um, but they were very helpful. Um, they were extremely helpful. And um, we checked the creek, and um, a very kind gentleman decided that he would, you know, go underneath. It's like a little bridge and look and see what he can see. And, and he didn't see anything and we didn't see any signs of anything left. <sighs> then I... Began thinking more in depth. I began thinking more in depth about possible places, you know, that Ariana could be and um, places outside of Gary, Indiana. And as I was just trying to, you know, sort. Um, some possible places out in just in my own mind, um, I decided to um, join, you know, the search for Ariana on Saturday. And and um, document, do a live documentation of places I, you know, travel via car while requesting assistance uh, from individuals um, to get into places that may be hard, difficult to reach places for myself. <clears throat> well, at some point, uh, I stopped driving around and After I, you know, left Gary and, of course, went to Boone uh, Grove uh, with uh, supporters and concerned citizens trailing me out there. And at some point, the search stopped on a Saturday, and, and it stopped for me and the individuals that were with me. And uh, at some point, this search ended uh, in Gary, Indiana, at some point. So, I've been having trouble sleeping lately, and uh, uh, 
when I'm a bit more emotionally uh, invested in cases, it's uh, typically hard for me to just stay asleep, you know, for a period of time. So Saturday, leading into Sunday, uh, I woke up thinking about Ariana Taylor. And a very kind woman had reached out to me and um, offered to bring a drone, um, which she was not able to. Unfortunately, she was not able to get her drone. Um, uh, it was in the possession of someone else. But uh, she said she would still try in the future. We began conversing back and forth and we agreed that we would today uh, go out, back out to Boone Grove. We were going to go to different areas, and you may have saw some, not all, of the different areas. Um, and these were just areas I, I kind of mapped out and looked up and researched today. And so I met up with this kind woman and... Um, She's connected to a motorcycle club and uh, knows a few police officers and um, security guards and people who are uh, licensed to carry. And uh, she reached out to others. I mean, by it being a Sunday, it was, you know, a little bit difficult. It was not anything that we, we did not plan it to go out there uh, two or three days ago. It was just something in the spur of the moment. Uh, really early this morning, um, she's, she gave me a call, a few calls because Ariana was definitely on her mind and it was not planned. And so we decided, you know, we go out there at one o'clock and, and, and that's what we did. And we wait to see what other, um, people would show up, you know, and help. And we hope that we will have more. Um, of the motorcycle club members joining us, but it did not turn out that way. However, um, one gentleman did come and he came with his four wheeler. And you may have seen that in the live stream posted to the Pebbles Bam Bam media, um, page. I remember um, as I was driving, getting closer to Boone Grove, you know, I was constantly reminding Facebook followers, friends, et cetera, et cetera, right, that there was another search happening and a second search was happening um, as I was live. Actually, before we ever started searching, there was another search happening in Gary. A friend of mine, beautiful person, and I love her so dearly. She's very supportive of me. She was kind of going back and forth uh, with some folks in comments who were, you know, slandering me. But a beautiful person reached out to me uh, on the WhatsApp and was like, you know, we're going to get some people together, um, our motorcycle club, and we're going to, you know... Uh, <laughs> And I'm referring to Sin City. And we're going to go out to Gary. And, um, um, you know, she told me and I announced that to everyone that she said that they would be going places based upon psychic readings. What they heard from psychic readings. They were going to focus on that. And I didn't discourage her from none of that. I'm like, go ahead. I was, well, we're out here. You know, you all do your thing out there. I just couldn't be there to you know, follow. Her name uh, is Donitha. Thank you so much for your support. I want to call you out on this live stream. Um, <clears throat> or give you credit on this live stream, rather. So that's what they were planning to do, and they were doing that. 
They planned to continue searching for a little while, you know. She had began sending me photos of interest and videos, which I have not looked at. Just, I guess, some things that they found while they were out there or discovered or made note of. So, I'll, uh, later tonight, uh, before I retire, I will definitely look at the photos and the video links and to, to, to just to keep me abreast on what was happening in Gary. Um, she knew that I, um, I, you know, was a ways away from Gary for, you know, a nice, and I'm still a nice piece away, but a nice piece away. Um, So, and I'm just, I'm doing this because I'm trying to remember some things and I want to be as accurate as possible. So the closer we get to Boone Grove in the live stream, you will see the comments and maybe you can track the timing of it. There are comments I'm seeing about a body, um, being found, a body being found, a body, a body, a body, a body, a body. And I didn't want to entertain it too much. Because I have been live um, on other occasions and I've read comments from individuals stating that a body was found uh, only to learn later that uh, whatever was found, whoever was found, um, it, uh, there it, did, it didn't include findings of Ariana Taylor. So I was very being very cautious, trying not to really entertain it and dwell on it. Um, what was being said on the live, and uh, I kind I wish right now I would have kept comments off because it influenced me in a different direction. But then after I'm constantly seeing this, I decided, well, let me consult with the other person who's trailing me, this beautiful woman who's trailing me and helping me and uh, help me with getting the assistance of, uh, from a kind gentleman with a four-wheeler. Let me see what's going on. You know, so I step away from the car. Um, I'm talking to her. She's saying, well, yes, um, there's a scanner on the, po the police scanner. Um, and um, I guess uh, there was someone running a scanner page. Um, it was announced that a body was found. Okay. And so I'm assuming that the body was that was found is... A body that someone had actually laid eyes on. I, like you, at least thought that much. Uh, you can give this live stream a thumbs up or a heart if you, like, at least thought that that was the case. So she's saying, well, yeah, this might make my friend, my buddy that runs the scanner page. She's telling me, yeah, that's... And she says, well, he won't tell me, you know, whether it's a female or a male, and I'm Okay. So I, you know, we want, we try to continue on going into Boon Grove. Made it to Boon Grove. Um, then I, you know, saw messages coming in uh, from individuals letting me know that a, a, it, the body was a woman. That's what really put me on pause. And I began reading messages uh, from individuals saying that, you know, family was on the scene, you know, and, you know, individuals, family members, including Ariana's mother, was seen crying, you know, people were hugging and, and um, all of this is happening as this kind, very kind gentleman, Mr. Art, has gone out, he's on a four-wheeler. And he is um, 
searching along the creek with the four-wheeler in a position to really get a uh, really good visual in terms of what's out there and what whatever is out there could be. So, in light of reading all what I, all of what I was reading, combined with you know being you know really bombarded with there's a body, there's a body, there's a body, there's a body, there's a body over and over and again, I'm like, okay, Whew. I don't want this gentleman to waste his time. Um, you know, they're saying. Family members are hugging and crying at this point. Um, I reached back out to the kind woman who offered to set some things up to help me out with searching. And, you know, we're together along with Mr. Art, and I, you know, messaged her and told her, you know what, um, ask him to come back. With the four wheeler, I need to leave. We need to go to Gary. Uh, I'm gonna go, you know. And they said, "Well, you yeah, well, go ahead. You go on because they know that I was reporting and you know actively reporting on uh, Ariana's disappearance, or uh, along with you know I'm the one you know that's broadcasting this search and." So, that we were conducting, so I, I called off the search, uh, in light of all of that. I guess it was a bit of a lot of pressure to not continue searching and to just see what was really going on over there, you know. And the pressure was mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting and more details were coming out. And so Mr. Art, he, he gets in his four-wheeler. He goes his way. This kind woman goes her way. And I'm en route. I'm en route back to towards Gary, Indiana. So I arrive. I see that there are a lot of people out. Uh, some people looked at very angry. I didn't know why. And I, I could... I can feel a lot of tension, you know. Plus what y'all all all y'all saw, you know, live, you know. Plus that. I took a really quick snap of um of a photo of someone on the other side, right? Um of this area patrolling it. With caution tape up. And I just sat and waited, you know, just to, I was just waiting, trying to see what was going to happen, you know. And then one of my followers decided to send me a link. Um, To a statement that um, Northwest Indiana, um, oh gosh, to a Northwest Indiana journalist had made on his profile, and he's the founder of Region News Source. His name is Paul Godard, and I have so much respect for him. I actually admire him and his work. <laughs> And he, he's a truth seeker and he, he is a stifler about making sure that uh, news and updates is accurate as possible. 
he tries his very best to de debunk false information. So as soon as he learns something different, a, a de new detail, he will immediately update uh, his followers, friends, etc., etc. So I'm reading this uh, through the, what was sent to me, you know. I learned while reading that I called off a search in Boone Grove. I learned while reading that individual searching for Ariana Taylor in the actual area. Um, Miss Cypher Flower had pointed out, well, they put a pause on their searching too, because there's this big scene now. There's this big scene. And everybody's, you know, a part of, you know, Clay is blocked off, you know, Clay Street. And everybody wants to know what's going on. So I learned while reading this article that we turned around and searchers, people volunteering to search in Gary, they were actively searching. They halted their search or the length of their search only to discover that a silicone, a silicone, um, baby doll was found wrapped in either doll, I don't want to say doll, but you know, wrapped in either a green or a green sheet or a green blanket, either or. Something green. We called off our search. Stopped searching. And which that search might have led well into the evening or night. Um, there were people who um, were trying to find us to, to, to assist as well. Everyone stopped searching, waiting on confirmation regarding whose body was found on off of Clay Street, only to learn that what was found was not human, something plastic. We called off the search for something plastic. I find it very strange, ladies and gentlemen, that very, very strange that a utility worker allegedly, supposedly located uh, a silicone doll. And when I began thinking about it, really, it was disturbing to me for a number of reasons. There was something brought back to my mind, to my memory. And what I could recollect is that there was a worker, a Caucasian worker, who found Ariana's 
alleged clothes five minutes away. About give or take from where her vehicle was found. And I don't want to, uh, you know, indicate that, uh, unfair that this park worker was up to some funny business, but I just found it, uh, unsettling. A, hmm, a worker found Miss Taylor's clothes uh shoes and allegedly the piece of jewelry that her child's father was holding in his hand. I don't think he ever turned that in. And uh it was strange that a utility worker was over there on a Sunday. I haven't heard about any outages or anything. Word travels fast. You know, you hear about outages. You see it on Facebook. I'm connected to a lot of different Indiana groups. So, hmm, I don't know. I found that to be... A bit jarring, so to speak. <laughs> it's possible. That either. Miss Cypher Flowers reading was correct and. Maybe just off a little bit in the distance, somewhat, but it could have been accurate or reading. Um, or one out, one person out of all of the people who decided to go out on a Sunday and cancel all of their, all of our. Sunday plans, we may have been 30 minutes or an hour away in terms of searching time from finding her. I believe we were close. I, I, I don't know who was closer because I don't know. <sighs> But I believe that one of us, we came really close to locating this young woman. And I do wholeheartedly believe that the silicone doll found in this woody-like area off of Clay Street was a desperate attempt to prevent one of us from finding Miss Taylor. I could only wonder what bits of evidence has been moved, destroyed, you know, Etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. After 
I and the individuals who accompanied me had left that area. And after the Sand City, you know, Rock had left the area or rather stopped searching in the area they were searching or initially searching in. And now I can really only wonder if either of us or any of you may find Miss Taylor. After you know, a week long search. I hope, I hope that law enforcement doubles back to all of the areas, either concerned citizens suggested they search or two areas, um, psychic readings, oh. With a little bit more credibility. Um, pinpointed as. Key areas of interest. I certainly hope that. Law enforcement. Considers. Making a surprise visit to Boone Grove, Indiana. I, I certainly hope that Ariana is found and I certainly hope that If there has been any kind of foul play in the works here that the tricker or the tricksters uh, will definitely be caught, will be caught, will be penalized to the fullest extent of law. I'll check it out. Send me a link. Send a link to me, please. Through WhatsApp or Bam Bam. Send a link, please. Thank you. What bothers me is that I do believe she's close. By, I don't know where. I believe there is a reason why so many people are collaborating together to try to find her and and why many of us, thank you, I just got your link you sent me, are so hell-bent on finding her.
Is Ariana Taylor crying out to be found? Is that why we're losing sleep? Is that why some of us are? Thank you, seen it. Some of us just can't eat. Is that why many of us, uh, many of you have vented multiple times a day in Facebook posts regarding uh, the very disturbing disappearance of this young woman. Is she crying out to us? Is she crying out? Is she crying out to us? Will we ever hear her cries? Will we ever be able to pinpoint where the cries are coming from? Well, the answer to that question, question I certainly don't know. I certainly don't know. In a situation like this, I I feel as though there should be some type of rewinding of a clock. You know, I want to rewind time. I want to go back. I, I want Miss Taylor to go back, you know, to last weekend and and um, start her day out all over again. I want that to happen so much. But I know I can't dictate what happens in time, past, present, or future. I can't dictate what happens in time, past, present, or future. I see what you're saying, Miss Ebony. And if I look tired, it's because I am, and it's because I've stopped uh, my daily schedule for about a week now, trying to figure out what happened to this young woman. Thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch this live stream. Thank you for all of your support. Your support is needed, and I am listening to you. And I know you want me to stay safe, and I do too. And um, I know we're a ruffling some feathers. I know a lot. So, yeah. If you have to, a tip to share, I'm going to leave you with my email. Missing Lost in Traffic at gmail.com. Thank you all so very much and have a good night.